Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you don't welcome, my name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. So today is going to be the second of the three new upgrades. We did Calypso, my rainbow boa, the other night. Today we are doing Phoenix, my corn snake. Very excited about this one. If you guys have been around since the beginning, Phoenix was my first snake, and I've been saying for years, someday Phoenix will be in a 4x2 enclosure. And today is finally that day, so this is a very big deal. This upgrade I've been waiting for, so I'm super excited that it's finally here. So just like my last video when I did Calypso's enclosure upgrade, this video will be kind of the same layout. It's just a bunch of random videos mashed together because I was trying to get these upgrades done before Christmas since the enclosures came in late, so I didn't take the time to really film the process and explain it all. So after we go through the mashup of videos, I did take the time to record the inside of the video and kind of talk to you about what I did. So that's kind of towards the second half of the video. So without further ado, let's jump in. So ultimately my goal with Phoenix was to create more vertical spaces, more climbing areas and options. So that's what I was going for with that big piece of driftwood over there. And then I just spray foamed it in along with some cork bark on the sides. And then you know you gotta shave down that spray foam so that you can apply whatever to it, whether it be silicone or dry lock. For these enclosures I actually went with dry lock. I never done dry lock for the backgrounds before, but I really hate the silicone method in my enclosures that I did the silicone method and dirt with for are kind of looking like crap as time goes on. So I want a more like rocky natural look, which the dry lock did really, really well. So I actually really like the dry lock method. And then you can get the tinted one or like the one that you can tint and mix it with some colors. So I went for like this brownish yellow. It didn't quite go as planned, but I ended up liking it in the end. I sprinkled some sand on it to give it the more like sandy natural texture. And this is what it looked like when I was done putting it all together. Okay, so let's talk about this enclosure a little bit. Excuse the water droplets on the glass. My apologies. I need to clean that. But yeah, so this enclosure is pretty much done. The only thing I still want to do is get some air plants to put on top of this piece of cork back here so I can get rid of that fake succulent. And then I have a cork over here that I have another fake plant hanging on. I want to put an air plant up there instead. So yeah, let's talk about this a little bit. So this is a 4x2x18, by by just like Calypso. Um, nice and big. Love it, love it. I love that she can stretch out pretty much along the whole thing. That is my goal for my snakes, to have them in enclosures so they can pretty much stretch out along the whole enclosure. So I've got water dish here, her basket hide. Um, I did, I've been trying to go a little more natural with all of my hides. So you know, like cork bark and stuff like that. But she really does love this basket. She's had it since, you know, I first got her. She loves to coil up on top of it, and it's super cute. So I let her keep the basket. And of course, the basket, I have all these flowers tucked into it to add some color. So I left it. Why not? We got some fake fake grass up there. Um, she's actually hiding behind the basket right now. Um, lighting, she's got GU10 halogens and a UVB from Arcadia. Um, so I'm super excited to see how she ends up, um, like, changing how she acts with UVB. Um, she's never had UVB before. I'm starting to give my animals UVB. So like all of them, not just the ones that need it, but like all of them. So I'm super excited to see how she changes with that. So I'm actually going to close this and open the other side so we can get rid of the water droplets. Okay. So halogens. I'm changing all of my animals to halogens for heating. Best form of heating there is. Um, we're not going to get into the science of that in this video, but yeah. So. I added a nice large piece of rock down here as her basking spot to hold the heat, pick up the heat, um, to create a nice basking area. We've got this nice big stick that's actually spray foamed into the wall over there, but then I used it to prop up some of these other sticks for good enrichment, lots of climbing and exercising. So I am very excited to see her start using all this. Um, live plants. We've got a snake plant that I split up, so here and here. That's really it for live plants. Um, this guy over here is actually fake. I might see if I can get like a big aloe for her to put in here. Um, 
but yeah so we've got this frock hide back here honestly I don't know if she'll fit in it so I just kind of put it in to see if she'd use it and see otherwise I'll take it out um, I do want to do more natural stuff like lots of cork and cork bark cork bark tubes but I'm fresh out of cork bark and money <laughs> so um, that's gonna be in progress so this is how it looks right now but I do want to add like cork bark and air plants and whatnot so work in progress the background is spray foam that has been covered in dry lock and sand so I did three coats of dry lock and then the first coat was just the white and then the second two coats I mixed paint in just non-toxic acrylic paint to give it some color so we went for like a yellowy brownish sandy rock kind of texture so on the last one I sprinkled play sand on it to give it kind of a more sandy look so excuse the ceiling it does look very messy but you don't see it when you're looking straight on so I don't care I did also want to give her like little ledges to hang out on so we've got this cork bark ledge here um, she can hang out in this back corner over here on the ledge so I want to do that because in zeros I he has a custom reptile habitats background and um, he's got rock ledges on the side that he hangs out on and I love it so I wanted to give her some things like that so we've got a ledge back here and this ledge over here which she was actually on the other night so yeah that is our phoenix's enclosure let me know what you guys think in the comments i was very excited this has been like a dream come true because i've been wanting to give her a four by two enclosure since i got her and i kept saying i was going to do it and it finally happened so this has been the dream since I started keeping animals. You guys know Phoenix was my first snake, my second reptile. This has been a goal for a very long time. So I'm happy that it's finally happened. All right, to end this video, let's rewind to get Phoenix's initial reaction. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you think of her new enclosure in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next upgrade video and the room tour, the long waited for room tour. All right, thank you guys, and we'll see you for the next video. Bye!